Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited about today because it's a very special day. It's a library sale day. My local library is having a sale. Not only does that mean thrifted books, but all the books are one to three dollars. <laughs> I'm so excited. This only happens like three to four times a year and the last time I went, I got a pretty solid stack of books. So I'm hyped because not only now am I a little bit more aware of like what I like to read, but I have had a couple months time to look at more books and see what authors I like and what kind of genres I want to go for. So I'm just going into this library sale with a lot more self-knowledge. So I just got ready, did my hair and a little bit of makeup. I actually got a little bit more ready than I usually do today. I put mascara on. <laughs> so I was just really feeling it, you know? It is like a hundred degrees out right now, so I will not be wearing a sweater, unfortunately. I am just really anticipating for fall. And I'm just like, if I wear sweaters and light my cozy candles and read my cozy books, maybe fall will come faster, you know? And if you follow me on Instagram, then you'll know that I recently just chopped all my hair off. And this is definitely giving me like Alice from Twilight vibes. The way that it's just like flipping out right now. I always resonated most with Alice. And now I'm actually embodying her. Anyway, that's going on today. I thought it would be fun to do like a little library haul slash bookshop with me vlog, but I do have to work literally right after I go library shopping, which kind of sucks, but at the same time, I was supposed to work at one, but then I told my work that I had an appointment at uh, one, because that's when the library sale starts. So I now work at three. So if any of my coworkers are seeing this, you heard nothing. I have about, I don't know what time it is. Alexa, what time is it? It's 10.40 a.m. Okay, so it's 10.40 a.m. I have about an hour and 45 minutes until I need to leave my house. So I think I'm going to read more of This Poison Heart. I started this yesterday and I love it so far. It's super garden vibes and just plants and it has some Greek mythology in it, I guess. And I did not think that, like I didn't expect that. And that's really exciting because I was literally just posting on my Instagram story that I wanted more like Greek mythology styled books or just like books with Greek mythology like in it. And turns out the book I'm actually reading currently has it in it. But I'm enjoying it so far and I'm really hoping that I get uh, finished with it by like tomorrow because I do have a really busy day tomorrow. And I start school on Monday. So by the time I post this, I'll probably have already started school. So maybe I'll update you. I don't know. Anyway, so this is that's what's going on for today, and I will see you when I go book shopping. So I'm literally an idiot. I brought my camera to finish recording just a little bit of like what I'm doing today and whatnot, and I literally forgot my SD card in my computer at home. It is the next day. I have a book on hold here at Barnes & Noble that I wanted to pick up this morning, and then I also wanted to go thrifting. I need to actually take some of my books that I just know I'm not going to read. I need to take those two half price books and then I'm going to probably look around in there for a little bit. I got paid today. So I already paid all my bills and I put like half my paycheck in savings. So I have like a tiny chunk of money left that I can spend freely. And of course I decided to spend it on books. So here we are. It took everything, everything in me not to buy the Mushroom Notebook. I honestly might go back in a few days and get it if it's still there and I have money still. I don't know. Why am I obsessed? I just realized I'm also wearing my uh, mushroom earrings as I'm talking about my obsession with that Mushroom Notebook. So now I'm at the thrift store. I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to be in there because my IBS is flaring up. Yay. I'm in trouble. So we lasted a whole five minutes in there. <laughs> that no public restroom sign is my biggest enemy. Why? 
People have health issues, okay? People need bathrooms. They didn't really have anything good anyway, so I'm not that mad about it. So now I'm gonna go to Half Price Books and bring the books that I have there and then probably look around a little bit. Sorry. Hi, um, can I get a medium iced green tea with a uh, strawberry acai and a pump of classic? Literally so good. Oh my gosh. I don't know what kind of liquid crack they put in their teas, but I am all for it. We are at Half Price Books now. My favorite place ever. I genuinely am here actually probably at least two to three times a week. Not to always buy things, but they just always get new stuff and I always just like to look at what's new, you know? So we're gonna do that and they do have public restrooms here, so I am safe. The truly devious books are literally $2.99. I'm sorry, what? I could literally scream, cry, poop my pants right now. I'm finding so many good things. So many, for so cheap. Are you kidding? I was born to be here. I was meant to be here. The universe, Jesus brought me here today for a reason. I literally just went into Half Price Books. I was like, I'm just gonna look around, like see what they've got. Maybe they have some good stuff. Ma'am? I was gonna be super sad if I didn't find like anything good here because I didn't find anything super great at the thrift stores and then the library sale was a little bit of a bust, but I've been redeemed. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I have found some gems. I'm gonna go home and then we're gonna do a book haul because I cannot wait for this, but I'm also gonna get a snack because I am hungry. Hi. Okay, so I just got home. I'm so hyped because I literally found so many gems, so many good things that I have been wanting for a while. And I had in my like Amazon wish list and all that stuff, but they were actually cheaper because I just thrifted all these books, except for one. I got one from Barnes and Noble that I had on hold, but the rest of them are thrifted or from the library sale. I literally can't, I don't even understand what just happened and how I got so freaking lucky, but I wanted to go through the books I got at the library sale first and then I'll go into my thrifted books and the one that I got at Barnes and Noble. So for the ones I got at the library sale, I picked up the first and second books of Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I think this would be such a good little series to read for spooky season because it is, it's pretty spooky looking. Even though it's more of a like young adult um, series, I believe, it still spooks me out tremendously. So I think this would be such a good read for Halloween, October season. And then for the other book that I got at the library sale, I got The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. This is out of my comfort zone. I wouldn't pick this up normally because it's just not something that I usually read, but I've heard so many good things. Everybody raves about it. So, and it was $2. Like, are you joking me? Of course I'm gonna get it. And then on to the one book I got at Barnes and Noble. And I got the first book in the Shatter Me series. I heard a lot of good things about this as well. I, for, for right now, with me starting school um, in a few days, I wanted something that was going to be easy to read, a little bit more fast paced and something that I could get through a little bit quicker as well as something that isn't quite as long. And this one I believe is a little bit over 300 pages. So it's, it's not super short, but because I've heard that it's just super easy and fast to get through, I wanted to pick this one up. And it sounded really, really interesting. So I'm really excited to start this series. Cause I know, I think Haley Pham just posted on her YouTube that she was like finishing up this series and she uh, had a lot of really good things to say about it. So of course I'm gonna pick it up after she recommends it. Now on to all the books that I found at Half Price Books. Um, okay, first and foremost, I am absolutely obsessed with Holly Black. I love her writing. I love pretty much all of her books. I've read all of the Folk of the Air series as well as the first book in the Modern Fairy Tales. I didn't absolutely love the first book of the Modern Fairy Tale series, but I did like it was intriguing enough to keep going and I just absolutely love the world that it's set in, which is the same world that the Folk of the Air is set in. But anyway, that's beside the point. But this, I kid you not, I had to hold my breath from screaming bloody murder because I was so freaking excited for this one. 
I'm so happy. If you can't tell, I am absolutely obsessed with the folk of the air. And this is the, I think it's a novella pretty much, um, of pretty much Carton's life, uh, pre Folk of the Air, and I think during Folk of the Air, you kind of just get like Carton's perspective. And I've been eyeballing this for so long. It's been in my Amazon cart for so long, but it was like 14 or $15 on Amazon and I just didn't want to spend that much right now. So when I saw it at half price books for $7, I was like, you're going in my car, literally right now. And then I got another Holly Black um, novel, which is The Coldest Girl in Cold Town. I'm a vampire gal. I, I love vampire books. I love vampire movies. I, After watching The Vampire Diaries, I honestly just became obsessed with vampires. And the fact that it's Holly Black, I just, I had to pick it up. It's kind of a no-brainer there. And then these next two books were the ones that I was literally shocked by because I have been going to half price books once or twice a week for the last like two months, I kid you not, and I've been looking for these books because I got, I have the first book, Truly Devious, right here. And I haven't read that one yet, but I already know I'm gonna like it. I already know it's gonna be good. So I've just been kind of looking, keeping my eyeballs out for the um, second and third books. And then I know the fourth book just recently came out. I got these for two dollars, well, Technically three dollars, but two dollars each. Are you joking me? Are you are you kidding me? Did this really happen? Like, am I in a dream right now? I don't understand what is going on today. I'm literally beyond hyped. A because they were three dollars each. Like what? But also because now I have almost the entire series on my shelf that I'm super stoked to read in the fall. Because these are definitely going to be part of my um, fall TBR and like books I'm most anticipating for the fall season. Oh, my baby, my big baby. Say hi to the camera. He's so cuddly, I love him so much. He smells like fish though, but I kind of like it. <laughs> I'm also allergic to him, so I probably shouldn't be like kissing him and putting him all up in my face because now I'm just gonna feel like I have hair everywhere. I'm probably gonna get a hive somewhere on my face now, so if you see a red mark coming up, don't be alarmed. Okay, and then the last books that I got at Half Price Books, this next one is My Sister the Serial Killer. I've been wanting this one for a couple weeks now and I've been keeping my eye out for it, but there was like three copies there today and I was like, I don't know if I'm just not looking hard enough or if these literally weren't there like four days ago because I don't understand. But this one was $6. I don't pay full price for books. I'm on a budget. I'm a college student. I just don't, I don't make that much. <laughs> so whatever money I have left over after paying my bills and putting stuff in savings, I use for books. So I'm never paying full price for a book unless it's a new one that I've been wanting for a very long time. But anyway, I got this book and I'm super, super, super stoked for it because a lot of people on my bookstagram recommended it to me as like a fast paced, fun, but short, like little mystery thriller fun type of book. And then this next one, last but not least, I was already shocked today at my finds at the bookstore. And then I was like, you know what? I really want Song of Achilles and I don't think it's gonna be here because it is so popular, but I'm just gonna look anyway. <laughs> it happened. I don't, I, I'm still shocked. I don't understand. I will never be okay after today. <laughs> this one, um, I don't have to say much about it. It's, I've heard it's an amazing book and it's out of my comfort zone as well as the Ev Evelyn Hugo one. And I've just been wanting more Greek mythology and something that is more out of my comfort zone because I think I'm gonna do a reading books out of my comfort zone video on here. So I think this one and Evelyn Hugo is gonna be on that video. These are just all the freaking gems that I picked up today. I am starting school in like two days and I'm not even done with the book that I'm reading right now which I'm kind of upset about and then I do have to babysit tonight. So I am I only have a couple hours left of my free time until tomorrow. And then I am going to try and use tomorrow as like a reading day before I get really stressed out about all my classes. So after I'm done with this Poison Heart, which I will say is so much fun so far. And I'll probably post um, a review of that with my August wrap up, which is probably gonna come up here in the next like week or so, probably week and a half, two weeks maybe tops. I don't know, we'll see. I think I'm gonna go make some lunch now because I am starving. All right, I'm gonna reorganize this shelf now that I have a couple things that I need to somehow fit in here. Literally every time. Sir, what are you doing? Huh? Who do you think you are? I swear if you knock those over, you're picking them up. Don't do it, don't do it.
you're in trouble. Oh my gosh. I don't have a hive yet. Actually, just kidding. I tore the skin off of my lip the other day because I was like anxious and it's just a nervous tick of mine, I think. And every time I eat like citrus or kiss my cat, it like it's red and inflamed. Literally all the animals are just hanging out in my room. Hi, do you there she is. There she is. Oh, she's so good. We don't deserve you. Every time I kiss you, you like make a weird face at me. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. I literally love and appreciate you all so much. I will see you in my next one. Bye.